Oh, I can't seem to get a heck of a good shot on this thing. Seems like no matter where I put the light, there's a glare. So I'm gonna take this thing to the site tomorrow. I wanted to show you this Milwaukee tracks anything survives everything. We're gonna see how this works and then I'm going to give you a review and let you know if this thing is worth buying or not. Okay it says here that you have to install one key. So Milwaukee has an app, one key. We're gonna open that. We're gonna go through this together. Get started. You can add an item which we're gonna do. I have to cut this puppy open and get all the pieces and parts out. So this is all it is. This right here. Oh wait, rotate lid to open. Remove battery cover. All right, so we're gonna do that. All right, so the lid rotates. There it is. Remove before use. So let's see how hard this is. Well, look at that. It covers both sides of the battery. All right, it's gone. So put the battery back in. If it fits, yes, right, okay. All right, so there it is, batteries all set up. So now we gotta go to the phone. We have to add an item, enable tool tracking. Uh, optimize your phone for continuous tool tracking or choose basic Android tracking services. Let's do optimized and do allow. Remove the tick battery. Well, that would be nice to know. Okay, so yes. Move the battery again. Can you get it out the second time? Yeah, sorry, I have to use the knife. Okay, so remove the battery. Next step, please keep the battery out of the tick for 10 seconds. So it's counting down, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, so 10 seconds. It says reinsert the tick battery and close the lid. Okay, that's done. Next step, place your phone near the tick. All right, and oh, hey, look, it says add to there. Yes, we're good. Product information. We're just gonna call this tool. And description, test. That's all I'm gonna say. Doesn't have a model or a serial. You can add a picture of the tool. So let's do that, see what it's like. Take a photo, allow. So we wanna take a picture. Boom. So we took a picture of the tool. Now you've got a record of it if you have to add your model and serial, and then you hit save. Oh, uh, they want you to put in a model number, so we're just gonna call it, what are we gonna call it? Tick, right, yeah, okay. Sounds good to me. And now we can hit save. Yes, almost there. Create an account so we can store your new item. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna do this, probably off camera, and then I will uh, let you guys know how that goes. Okay, so I added my email and a password that's all it asks for so once you put that in then it shows you some new features that they have and then your uh, model number your inventory is all up here and then you can pick a tool it's last seen and it shows the date and the time and then uh, anytime you want you can edit it so we're going to track this tomorrow we're going to go to the job site see where it goes see when we lose it see if we can hide it from each other and find it and we'll let you know how that goes pull to refresh yeah we don't need that all right cool so let's do this Okay, we're back. I uh, had some time today to spend with this. Took some screenshots and I'm going to show you basically what I found and then give you my opinion on what I think of this little guy. All right, and we'll start with this one here. This guy, we were at this location right here, this store, and it showed that it was up here a uh, couple of blocks away. That's where it says approximate address. So. I had it as active, uh, showing that yes, we knew where the tool was, but it was picking it up not even close to where we were. So then I did another shot after changing the tool to missing, and uh, after it went to missing, it refreshed the screen and actually gave us a pretty close idea to where the tool was. It showed we were kind of in that back corner of the store. and. That's where it showed it at. It was kind of nice to have it uh, update and you could see it. But then later on, we went back to our hotel and our hotel is here, the La Quinta, and it was showing up at the Residence Inn. That's where the red pointer is. And these are screenshots that I took while I was there and you can see the date and time stamp that I took them. And tried to do the refresh thing and it didn't pick it up. 
So then uh, went back to the store, was doing some other work and refreshed it at 1043. And it showed we were kind of over here in this corner of the shopping center that was there, which we were still in the store. So it, it was somewhat close, but it, it really wasn't, uh, it, you know, you're, you're not gonna find your tool if you're lo missing your tool and this is attached to it. Cause that's, you know, probably a good thousand feet away from where we were uh, minimum. And let's see. Then this one's, this one's gotta be the best. Uh, we went to Mexican food for lunch and we were there at about 1.30. And so I pulled it out of my pocket, I set it on the table in the restaurant, let it sit there for a few minutes, and then I opened the app to see if it knew where it was, and it said, last seen uh, at 1.25, which was about the time that I took the photo, as you can see here. So, oh, there it is, 1.25. So I took the photo at 1.25, it said last seen at 1.25, and then it shows this is the location. Well, up here in this little yellow block, right here, is where we were the mexican restaurants in the same parking lot as the store we were in so that right there is not even close i mean i wouldn't even say in the same neighborhood so uh yeah i was very disappointed in that and then i refreshed it and changed the tool to missing and we then drove to our hotel back at the la quinta and again for some reason it shows up at the residence inn so i am here at the la quinta currently and I can show you on my maps and I'll have it find where I'm at. You see that? It takes us right to La Quinta and that's where I'm at. And the residence inn is up here, there, and that's where, that's, this is current, you know, where I'm at locally. Uh, and so when you go back to these pictures and it says it found the item at the residence inn but I'm at La Quinta, that, that's not going to help you find your tools. So in a nutshell, as you can see, um, I didn't have very much luck with it tracking. We had it one time pinpoint somewhat close to where we were. Uh, there's Wi-Fi available. Uh, I had my phone on constant tracking so that it would do, um, let's show you here real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Sorry about the delay. I might edit it, but who knows? Okay, so anyway, so I did this tick tool test. So like right now okay so this is live right now we're at the hotel you just saw me open that app uh last scene 228 so it's 235 oh it just updated okay so 235 236 so if we click on the last scene location it goes in and it's still the residence in and that's just ridiculous here's the la quinta that we're at so i have no idea why oh wait did it just update Yes or no? Where is it? It's showing us closer. Now it's showing us at Costco. So there's the La Quinta, which we're in, and it's showing us at Costco. And it's sitting right there on the table in my hotel room. So I'm not sure what to tell you. It, it I don't, It's not even a deterrent, really. I mean, if somebody sees it on there, if you had it on your ladders or something like that, you, maybe if the person has Wi-Fi uh, and it can connect that way. Uh, I don't actually know other than Bluetooth how it connects, but uh, um, it doesn't seem to work very good. So should you spend the 20 bucks? Uh, I would say no, uh, do not. This is just like those uh, tile things that you can get. Uh, they come in these little squares. They don't work either. Uh, they have to be within signal range of something and uh, so for this tracking device, tick tracks anything, survives everything. It might survive everything. Uh, it does have these two screw holes to mount to, mount to something. Um, you can also double side tape it to it. Um, again, that's how the battery comes out. You just twist this cap and pops off and there you go. So anyway, if you would like, you can spend your money on it. I will put a link down in the description so you can find it if you'd like it. And, uh, but I can't recommend it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I appreciate your time. Until next time, stay safe.